All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different than the normal ride vlogs that you're used to seeing. I got a product here that I want to open up and take a look at. It's something that I've been needing for a while. And you can see on the box here that it comes from Smith and it's a new pair of riding glasses. So I ordered these online. I paid, well, not full price because they were on sale, but I didn't get any discounts or anything like that from Smith or from the website. I, these are purchased with my own money. I just happened to find them for a really good deal. My riding glasses that I've been using are Oakley Half Jackets from 2006 or something like that. They're still a great pair of glasses. I use them when I go play golf, but my biggest gripe is that they're really hard to change the lens. So I got some replacement lenses um, from a company that sells them, Revan Optics. They're great lenses, just the way that the frame's designed, they're hard to change. So when I was going out and trying to change, you know, between a, a really darker lens and a lighter yellow lens, they're just hard to change. And they also don't offer the best coverage. So they're kind of like, well, they're half jackets. So the bottom of the lens is kind of exposed. They're not big lenses, even though I did put the uh, XLJ lenses in them. They're great, like I said, for golf, but they're they're not the best for riding. So without any further ado, let's kind of jump in. I'm opening these up for the first time, I'm gonna take a look and see kind of what they look like. I got the Smith Attack Max, and one of the biggest selling features was that these are supposed to be really easy to change the lens. So let's see if that's the case. Oh, they come in a nice um, case, which is really cool. I'm just gonna set the box over here out of the way. Oops. Look here and see what we got. Got a couple stickers, Some information. All right, here we go. So it looks like the these are the earpieces, kind of like a zebra type pattern on them. So again, I wasn't that concerned with what they what the arms looked like just because they were really, really on sale. And I actually kind of like these anyway, so worked out. Uh, it comes with two lenses, which is awesome because a lot of other glasses only come with one. So let's see. And then you have to change the nose piece. Oh, that's nice. So there's the darker lens. The nose piece is on this one. And then you're supposed to just be able to... Oh, that's it. All right, cool. That was easy. Just snap it in there. Try this side. All right, well, that's way easier than the uh, sunglasses I was using before. Let's see if we can get, there you go, you can kind of see what it looks like through those. I don't know if it's the truest representation, but it's pretty cool. And the nose piece is supposed to be able to adjust too. Oh, cool, it just snaps out. Makes it wider, I guess, for people with wider noses or if you want it closer to your face. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. So it just snaps. Hey, that's cool. All right. Well, there's that lens and it comes with a bag, obviously, too, and they always come with a bag. But let's see how easy these are to change. All right, so I gotta take the arms off first. So that just pops out. And this just, you bend them a little bit and they pop right out. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I really like that. And then the nose piece, you're supposed to grab it and just kind of pull. Hey, that came off easy, too. All right. Stick that back down in there. Let's try the other lens. And so this is the lens for darker conditions. This piece just kind of sit in. Nope. Oh, there we go. I just didn't have it lined up right. Helps when you have things lined up right. Snaps in. Snaps in. All right, well, that is way easier than my other glasses. And then this is what looks like through the lighter lens. Let's see if you can, there's a little bit of glare coming in off my window here. I'm anxious to get these out onto the trail and onto the road and give them a try. So that's where we're gonna head next. We'll see what the light looks like outside. I think maybe we'll go out on the road first and then head out to the mountain later. All right, we will catch up with you there. All right, what's up guys? It's a little while later. Now putting in some miles on the road bike, try to get the fitness up. I've got the uh, Smith Attack Maxes on, and I've got the uh, I got the darker color lens in. So far, so good. Got a little bit of light here now in the evening hours. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. These things are great. They're super clear. 
do the contrast really well and uh, no complaints so far. I'm right, about halfway through my ride this evening and still got the glasses on and they're doing great. My only small gripe, and I should have known this when I bought them, is not a whole lot of ventilation up here along the top. Um, it's not bad right now, it's not too hot out tonight, um, but I have a feeling like out in the mountain when I really get sweaty, uh, might be a problem because I, I don't know, I like to wipe the sweat out of my eyes. All right, I'm gonna get heading back and uh, I will see you guys with the light rose lens out in the mountain. All right, made it to Scotia Range. Got the uh, light rose colored glasses in. Ah, that's funny, rose colored glasses. Gonna go up in the woods here. It's usually pretty dark in here, so that's why we got the light colored ones on. We'll see how they do. So as you guys can see, I'm now out on the trail. I'm out in the woods, kind of, you know, mixed light through here. Have the light rose lenses in. Um, they're doing awesome. My only complaint, like it was when I was on the road, is uh, it's hard for me to wipe my face. Uh, I get really sweaty, so it's hard for me to wipe my forehead, but that's the design of the glasses. Great coverage, haven't had any bugs in my eye. Um, once I get going, they clear the fog really well. So yeah, I like them, I'm gonna keep them. All right, we're gonna keep going on the trail and I'll check in with you guys later. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Final thoughts, I've used these for about six months now. I really like them. Uh, they're lightweight, they're comfortable, they're easy to change the lenses. Uh, and the lenses themselves are both really good quality too. They're holding up really well so far over the first six months and I've used them a pretty good bit. Although I tend to be pretty easy on sunglasses for some reason, I don't really know why, but you know, I don't scratch them up usually, so knock on wood. One minor thing though, I've said it before, is that they do fog uh, a little bit when you stop moving, especially when it's hot out. But I think that's gonna kinda be any pair of sunglasses. If they don't have the air moving over them, they're, they're gonna fog. And you know, once you get moving again, these clear really quickly, so that's really good. Oh, uh, one more minor gripe. This one's more with the case than anything, is I wish the case had a way to store the glasses where you could leave the arms on. So when you put them in the case, you have to take the arms off. They have like these special little slots and it's, it's a little bit annoying. It's not a huge deal because the arms are pretty easy to remove, you know, but it would be nice to be able to leave the lens on them, uh, especially if I'm using the same one most of the time, which usually if I'm going mountain biking, I'm using the, uh, the rose colored lens. And then this one I usually use on the road. All in all, these were exactly what I was looking for. And I would definitely recommend them, especially if you can find them on sale. I do think the full price is a little bit steep, um, but I'm probably maybe a little sensitive to that or maybe I'm just cheap, I don't know. But I, I thought the full price was a little, a little pricey for what these are. But anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys for watching Bike Shaped Objects. My name's Jeremy. I will see you guys next time.